All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talked about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Both fighters are 28. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, here is Ladies Bruce and Buffer. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 172 pounds. Fighting out of Abuja, Nigeria, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Ooh, what a punch. kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice knee to the midsection there. He loaded up on that 
right hand, too. Just out of range with that right hand. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Great punch. Just missing on the counter there. Oh, a huge block there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Two minutes to go in round one. Score that takedown for me, man. That's a big strike right there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. And he landed the right hand there. It's such a fast leg kick. Big right hook, but a whiff. Nice. You're behind. Take down. Went for the inside leg kick. No good. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really put his opponent on notice. Checks the leg kick. We got to whip his hip into that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! oh nice high kick. Oh. Entertaining oh. scrap so far. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, nice right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missed with that right hand. What a punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Yeah. 
And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Up? Lands the right hand. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Yeah. Cable's inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Beautiful strike. Plus right hand is true. Back and forth we go. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice jab. Unable to connect with the right. Strong defense there to block the shot. You got to check these low leg kicks. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Big kick. Ten minutes in the books. Let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got, a, he's got him set up the way he wants it. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game. And I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target. 
not hit Hunter. Going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to take the finish. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he caught the kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing it. Ooh, what a punch. Nice leg kick land. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Come on, keep busy, guys. Keep busy. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Just unable to quite find that range. <laughs> Unable to connect there. Both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick partially blocked. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Damage to the body here, another strike lands there. All right, single collar tie now. Look at that switch knee, beautiful switch knee. Real nice body kick land. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big punch lands through the middle. Big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Give me a double leg. Give me a double leg. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Liver kick. 15 seconds. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. He is still going to be hurt. There's no... 
All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and he caught the kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. the strike. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. How about that shin? Head strikes. Hands higher, hands higher. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, big punch lands. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Just misses with that one. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Look at the force behind that leg kick. There see him. One more of those he might get. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He went high on that. Oh! Leg. Slips the punch nicely there. Big leg kick lands. Trying to kick the leg out. Stay Ooh, big shot land. And there comes the separation now. Just misses there with the left. Big kick lands. Big right hand. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice head kick. 90 seconds now to go on this one. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. That was a thudding leg kick. He's, he's lifting now. Ooh. One minute. Five seconds remain in the round. Big leg kick land. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Nice strike. Oh, 
Beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing, and this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of hook. There's no kill in that hook. Watch, and there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over 5'10", and still looks as fresh as both of these fighters are. Nice punch, man. Leg kick. Combination there and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. Line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination and they're all landing. Straight punch lands. Going to the head kick here is there. Checks that leg kick. Way to hide that leg kick. I want that takedown now. Big kick land. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Right hand upstairs. Left right combo is good. Head kick blocked. Moving to his left now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Pretty good right hand. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice loop of punch. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, Superman punch. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. one now. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Beautiful punch. Ooh, what a head kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Big kick. Went for the inside leg kick. That one's sneak in. Nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big head kick lands. No! He's out! He got it! Yeah, that right there.
there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment. And what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's life. It's a